Hey, so Brandon, why don't you just uh, tell me, you know, what's your what's your background? What brought you to H and P? Yes, that's all right. Uh, Ryan Jordan, I'm 28 years old. I retired military, uh, the Air Force for six years, and right after that, I drove trucks for a little bit, and then I decided, hey, I want to get get it to the sticks. So, when I uh, um, about you all felt, he said he worked for AP. He said he loved it. He's there for two years. It's never really inspired me to post it in and a lot. Thank you for your service, bro. I, I didn't know that you were military. You know, that's awesome, man. Uh, did you know that Wichita P had a special kind of onboarding program called the SSE program? Were you aware of that? No, oh, sir, not. Sorry. But as soon as it's something I got into it, and uh, everybody explained to me what it was, especially then. And uh, my trailer, he said, hey, we want to sign your mentor. We're going to take you through everything. Kind of show you step by step. If you got any questions, don't be afraid to ask. I know it's going to be a lot, but we got you. What's that uh, mentor, that intentional mentor relationship been like if you compare it to some of your military training experience? It's been pretty good for me because it's personalized to me, so like you kind of figure it out. How I work, what's my learning style, and how to enhance on it. You know what I mean? So he figured out that I was a visual learner. So a lot of what we do, he shows me as an example, boom, and then I go back and do it. Uh, so Domingo, what is, is this your time being a mentor? I've done it a few times. As a mentor, how do you how do you approach trying to help a new hand? learn all the different modules and go through all the different steps because you know like brandon said he feels like it's pretty personalized and i think a lot of that's got to come up to you as the mentor figuring out how to communicate and connect with them so kind of what has been your approach as you as you take on a new a new mentee first of all getting to know him and then i uh, taking him around the rig showing him every piece of equipment and then showing him uh, the blue Face checks and our JSAs, something like that. Yeah. And uh, with those flex checks, do you go through them with them or do you kind of just assign them and then you come back and you check them? Like, how does that work? I go through them, get scared with them. We all our team here. I do the whole room. The flex checks as a whole team. I'm sorry? The flex checks as a whole team, as yes, a whole sir. group. Okay. Yes, sir. That's cool. What would you say is the the most valuable thing you get out of the SSC program as a mentor? Well, he's actually crap for sorry we didn't have that. And then those uh, classes, they say everything, and then you got videos and it shows you. So then you know what I'm talking about when I go out there and show them what we're going to do or task, what we're going to work on. I guess it's pretty good idea, a visual idea. So I think that's a good thing. Yeah, you guys have both talked a little bit about some of that communication and connection. Brandon, from your perspective, I'm curious, how how have you seen that you guys are able to stay in constant communication, both, you know, through good things and through bad things? Like, I'm not sure if you've encountered anything that's uh, not gone the way you planned, but how have you guys been able to, to stay in contact while working and doing the program. I guess so we're constantly communicating, especially while we're on, on tower. And if I have any extra additional questions off tower, I always ask because obviously we're living on living here for fourteen days, all fourteen days. So uh everybody's like a family out here. So especially while we're on tower, we talk a lot, especially after the task is done or we just complete something. What well, what went right, what could have went better, how will I be I need to work on. How long have you been doing this now? Are you in? Are you almost to six months? Or where are you at? Crowd here. Here. Okay. Okay. Nice. So you don't have to do. And did you when you first started? Did you start that SSC program? Like I was trying to research and read how long or how it all works out. Yes, sir. Uh, I immediately started. Like as soon as I got to read, truly told me, "Hey, this is gonna be your mentor. Any questions you got?" You can always ask me, ask Kim, you can ask Ben, ask uh, Clint. But this guy, he's going to be right there, boots on the ground with you. As the rig manager, how do, do you help? Do you let your drillers decide how to pair up the guys? Do you guys kind of have like a draft board where you're assigning 
picks or like how do you guys figure out who gets a mentor and, and uh who's gonna be the mentee? Well uh, usually the mentor man is the one that always uh gets all of the, the mentees. Uh he's one of the most experienced and I think he's uh around be able to be around the rig more than anyone else. Uh so he has like, the the time to stay with him a whole lot more than, than we all do. As far as uh the boomers decide to do their family he can only operate whenever he can with it with uh, what's in his control. Then the motor man usually is uh the second set of eyes out there. Uh he, he takes them in. Uh you know we don't put any motor man that don't have you know a lot of experience so these guys are qualified. Now the main thing is they have a lot of good communication with the builder and myself. If they don't understand something, they're full of the stock and they do stop. And so they walk forward, they come and get advice from us. And then we go back out there with them to make sure that they did understand us. So I don't know. But that's pretty much how we go. Except for who's going who's gonna to be with them. Usually the motor man. And that's, I think my big question is, Brandon, how do you... Um... How have you gotten to the point where you feel comfortable doing the things that are asked of you when, you know, even putting yourself in maybe that first month or two when you, when you didn't know anything, man, and you were just coming out here green, get to a point where you feel comfortable doing these things for the first time. Do you just have to get out there and, uh, you know, make a mistake or what, what was your process to get to the point where you felt comfortable? Doing, doing the job. For me, it's all about confidence. Other things, all about knowledge. So, on the computer, you can find clip stacks and DSAs, even with this stuff, even when you're not on the clock. So, that helps out a lot to be able to study that type of information and use it in the field. Also, uh, repetition definitely helps a lot because we do a lot of the same things over and over again. So, at a point, you have to become uh, competent. Yeah, that's good. I mean, you you talk about all the materials, the training materials that are available, uh, as well as then just doing it over and over again. Do you feel in this program, though, that you're able to reach out to Domingo or any of the other guys if, if you have a question or, if, you know, you're concerned to before you do something? Um, do you feel that latitude to reach out for help? Absolutely. This team is great. They're communicating. They're letting you know that no question is too small. To ask, so don't be afraid to ask any type of questions from the great manager all the way down to the other floor. All right. Well, hey, how would you, uh, how would you sell the SSC program to to somebody from the outside? Like, what 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 would be the things you tell them about that you think are really good? Anytime you introduce the idea of football field to anybody, the first thing I always say, well, I don't know. I heard it's dangerous. I heard do this and we go home. And Away from home and all that good stuff, but I was tell you is that hey, you want to have somebody that's right there, that's experienced, that has your safety in, in mind. They want to get you back on your family, just like you want to get back on your family because they have a family as well. I tell friends about H and P is that I really do think that company, the company, cares a lot about safety and keeping people, you know, sending them home the way they come. And I really, I really respect that. Um, Domingo, I got a question for you, man. Why do you think this program would be important to H and P customers? It just shows the uh, shows the uh, let's see. What's wrong with that? Yeah. So why why do you think the SSE program would be important to H and P customers? Well, I mean, the location is shown the the steps of our classes of so where we're going to work on. And they can get an idea of what we're doing or how to work on it, stuff like that. Yep, I agree. I think that's good. All right, last question, man. I'll let you guys go. Thank you so much for giving me this time. Domingo, as a mentor, what kind of accountabilities, what kind of things do you put in place or do the, does the program have in place to help your mentees feel confident as they're learning and doing these new skills. And I said, uh, as you know, it shows, it explains everything to you, everything they'll work on or use. It takes step by step. They have videos and it's what it is. It explains everything. What about like your time with them? Because you kind of do post hitch meetings, right? Or like 
you do some extra meetings one on one. You guys get together more than just those uh, flex checks and the the JSAs, right? So talk a little bit about like what you do just in that relationship to make sure he feels ordered. The meeting where the task we're gonna go to, we go there and we'll stop and we'll have a little conference start. We'll step by step we're gonna do what I'm gonna do, what you're gonna do, and we just go like that and help each other out. And he doesn't know. I don't know. We just talk to, to Dan with the vigor, and we go from there. Awesome, man. I love it. Well, seriously, guys, thank you so much for your time. Ben, thanks for helping set this up, brother. I really appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you.